yeah as protests are sweeping across our country kenya our land our motherland the political climate is is, is increasing a lot of temperatures many wonder if this ongoing protests could lead president ruto leaving office we speculate that every tuesday every thursday there is man, there is a protest these days on those during those, those tuesdays and thursdays and sundays business is shut down completely and there is no, no government collecting revenue across the whole country so if you continue this trend it could lead for him to leave presidency before 2027 because there will be no money to continue running this government this video seeks to outline the factors that may contribute to such occurrence such scenario of ruto and his kenya kwanza regime leaving office before 2027 the duration of the protests that is point number one that is factor number one it will depend if this protest will end now but from what i see the government is continuing to spark more protests by using very fraud shooting people and doing abducting doing all these kind of things you can see from whatever is going on in this country right now the intensity and the duration of the protest is unknown we do not know how long it will take if the demonstration will continue to grow and will not stop this if they are prolonged it will have no pro no otherwise than to make sure ruto leaves power with immediate effect factor number two political pressure from the opposition uh, that one is somehow swaying because uh, the opposition has been split either side they want to discuss with ruto the other side the, in the middle and the others are saying they cannot negotiate with a killer who is killing people a corrupt individual so if the opposition will come back together if raila will amalgamate his <coughs> opposition together it will determine if the power will be more pressure on ruto and uh, but the Gen Z's, they don't want to hear anything about the opposition or the government. That is also something that is a plus for Ruto. But if the Gen Z's, I saw a heroic welcome of Baba, they welcomed him at Quare dump site. It shows that they can easily accept Baba. We don't know. What will, let's see how it unfolds. So political pressure from the opposition may lead to Ruto leaving office before 2027. Economic strain. This is point number three. Economic strain. If people have no money in their pockets, you know, the regime of Ruto made sure that uh, the people will have no money in their pockets. This means that uh, if you don't have money, if you don't have food, you are ready for anything. You don't have a job. So that's why it will be very hard for this regime to term, to term this ongoing protest. Because the people are idle, the people have no food, the people have no money. They are economically uh, pressed. They can no longer fend for themselves. They can no longer pay school fees. They can no longer do anything. The young ones are from school. They will see no opportunity, no future for this country. That's why they are on the streets and they are not going back home. That is something Ruto should think about if he wants to stay, of how to fix that. Point number four, it is social unrest and security concerns prolonged protests will lead to more unrest you see the government has come in it has hired goons they uh, they will reach a time whereby these goons the gangs that the government is creating with the long poles and arrows 
they will be the norm of the day. They will no longer need the government to pay them. They will cause mayhem, like what is going on in Haiti. So the gang, the use of gangs is very dangerous move for the root of government. And uh, I believe if we continue using that tactic, it's an outdated tactic. It can lead this country into and governance like you can no longer govern because the goons will be all over the gangs will be all over so Ruto should think about using goons it is very very unfortunate point number five is internal government dynamics tension within the government you know the ruling party UDF is not in good shape and the president is unable to curb these protests. If there is also division in his own government that he has right now, it will be hard for him to stay up to 2027. I guess I'm clear about that. You can let me know what you think if Ruto will reach 2027 or if he will be able to sail through and fix the economy of this country and make sure that the citizens have money in their pockets, they have food on their table. You know, people say that uh, President should not, the agricultural sector has messed up this country because they supplied wrong fertilizer to the farmers. So in the few coming months, there will be food shortage. The only way will be to import of which it will it mean it means more people will have no job and that's why people will flood more streets and eventually force William Ruto out of power point number six there will be legal constitutional challenges if there's legal constitutional challenges they can also pose a role in the president's potential departure. The protests, if the protest leads to significant legal challenges such as impeachment proceedings in court, rulings against administration, and president's inability to govern may be compromised. The judiciary's role of upholding the rule of law and responding to the public grievances can shape the outcome of the political crisis in Kenya. Point number seven, and I'm not sure about that legal constitutional challenges because uh, the chief justice that we have right now is an incompetent one. We saw from the what how she was speaking during the petition, during the uh, election petition that was submitted by the opposition, uh, Raila the Azimio team. She spoke very unprofessionally on the verdict. So. I don't know. We have wrong leadership everywhere in the Republic of Kenya. That's why this country is in bad shape. Chief Justice Martha Kome is an incompetent Chief Justice. So we, we hope they will not hang on power. The citizens have rejected them. And um, 2027, sh they should not wait up to 2027. They should exit as soon as possible to save this country. Point number seven, international influence and pressure. I saw Ruto yesterday saying that the Ford Foundation has been funding the terror, the ongoing protests. They have funded like one trillion Kenyan shillings for the protesters. I don't know how true is that, but we've seen him dining with this uh, Western Ford Foundation itself. We've seen him, him with photos with those guys, okay? So international influence and pressure. pressure. The international actors organization can influence the situation in Kenya. If the Ford Foundation is funding, that is one of the things that I'm talking about. If he's saying it is the one funding, I'm not sure. But those if foreign governments and international bodies express concern, over the protests and government handling of them, it can 
add pressure to seek resolution economic sanction diplomatic isolation or a cost for democratic reform from the international community can impact government rutos government in standing and decision making to resign and so the pop the possibility of president william ruto leaving office before 2027 general election amid ongoing pro uh, uh, protests is influenced by multiple factors so as we have highlighted in this video as the situation unfolds these elements will determine whether the president can navigate the crisis if he will be compelled to step down i don't know what you think that's my take guys kindly if you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe consider doing so and also like this video so that youtube can suggest the video to more people and hit the notification bell so that whenever i produce a video it will be not, you will be notified immediately a video is on youtube thank you guys and see you in the next video